when you're training the mind, you're developing a refuge. Because there's so many other things in life that you've tried to depend on, and you found that you can't really rely on them all the way. Your family, other people outside, they come and they go. Their moods go up and down. Even your own body you can't really rely on. You've got all these organs that can help you do things. You've got eyes to see and ears to hear, hands to pick things up with, feet to walk with. But whatever part of the body you have, it also has diseases. There are eye diseases, ear diseases, hand diseases, feet diseases, stomach diseases. And so what are you going to do? You learn how to use these things as part of training the mind. But the real refuge inside the mind is going to be the qualities you develop there. That's why we meditate, develop qualities of mindfulness, alertness, discernment, concentration, compassion. These are the things that will see us through. And they'll take us toward the ultimate refuge, of course, which, which, which is the deathless. That's when your refuge is 100% certain. But even along the way, you've got a really good path to follow. The qualities of mind can see you through all kinds of difficulties. Family members come and go. Your own body comes and goes. Gets old, gets sick, and then it's going to die. But the mind doesn't have to get old, doesn't have to get sick, and doesn't have to be affected by the dying, if you build it a good refuge. That's why we work on these qualities of mindfulness and alertness day after day after day. Because they're our lifeline. They're our protection. Protection against what? A protection against the harm that the mind does itself. And the sorrow, the disappointment, greed, aversion, and delusion, all these things can come in and just swamp the mind. Make you suffer right now and then make you do things that will lead to more suffering down the line. So you've got to learn how to build yourself a refuge against these things, a fortress against these things. That's what the Dharma is. That image of the fortress is one the Buddha uses many, many times. Mindfulness is the gatekeeper at the fortress. Knows who to let in, who not to let in. Your effort as the soldiers, the smooth wall of the fortress where defilements can't get a handhold or a foothold. That's your discernment. All these things are your protection. So make you sure that you focus your attention here, because that's where your time and energy are best spent. Energy focused on the body. You look after the body to make sure that it's okay, but there are times when you can't do anything to make it okay, so you've just got to learn how to live with it. But with the mind, you want to make it better than just okay. Keep working at it all the time. That's the effort that pays off in the end, and pays off now. It's a good place to be practicing. You're not doing anything harmful to yourself or anybody else. You're developing noble qualities of the mind. It's a good path to be on, and it leads to a good goal.